good morning students welcome to our maths class we were in the chapter rational numbers exercise 2c already we have discussed the some sums from page number 31 few more sums are there for us to discuss let us see how to do those sums all of you look at the board carefully in page number 31 Question four, third question. In that third bit, we have to simplify as per the symbols shown there. Minus five plus five by minus eight plus minus five by minus ten. Now let us see the way of adding or the the simplifying them. Now five minus five having no denominator. That is the denominator is not given, so let it as one. So minus five written as minus five by one. Here, this is same five by minus eight written with a plus symbol. Other one now plus symbol is written as minus five by minus twelve. Now this minus and the minus symbols both are cancelled. Minus which is given in the numerator. And minus, which is given in the denominator, both can be cancelled. Then now, this five by twelve only will be left for the next step with the plus symbol. Starting one minus five by one as it is minus five by one. Now here plus into minus, plus into minus gives you minus. And then five by eight, same five by eight only. Only symbols are changing. Now LCM of the denominators one no eight and 12 1 8 and 12 if you do lcm answer is 24 we all know how to do lcm the lcm answer is 24 now we want to see this 24 in every denominator we want to see this 24 in every denominator of the given question is it clear children now this is minus 5 by 1 is going to be multiplied into 24 In the denominator, we want to see 24. That's why one should multiply with 24. Then only our answer will be 24 in the denominator. So when 24 is required in the denominator, say 24, I have to write in the numerator so that 24 is written here also. Same way that is minus symbol. Then 5 by 8 is written. 8 is 24. That's why 3 is selected for the multiplication. Same three I have written in the numerator also to not to get any change in the value. Is it clear, children? If three is written in the denominator, same three we have to write in the numerator. That already we have learned about it. Now plus symbol. That is only plus symbol. Then five by twelve. That is twelve two twenty four. That's why two is written. Same two I have written in the numerator also. Is it clear? Now see that. Minus five into twenty-four minus one twenty by twenty-four minus five three is fifty by eight three is twenty-four. Next five two is ten by twelve two is twenty-four. Now all the rational numbers are with the same denominator called twenty-four as the denominator we got. Now final step is. Common denominator is 24, so that 24 is written as common denominator. What are the numerators are left to minus 120, minus 15, plus 10. All those numerators with their respective symbols I have written in the numerator part. Afterwards, minus 120, then minus 15. These two are with the minus symbols. Number with the minus symbol is called deptation. One twenty is depth, fifteen also depth. Their total depth will be one hundred thirty-five. That is minus one hundred thirty-five. This plus ten, we have it as it is plus ten. Now you say one hundred thirty-five depth is there for us. Only ten with us to give them. If at all we go and give to them, then they will say. Remaining 125 rupees debt will be there still. That we have to pay. They will ask us. Am I correct? 
so that's why minus 125 by 24 that remains as answer there is no common table to cancel them again so that is only called as answer for us that is the simplified form for the given rational numbers as for the respective symbols we have done it in the same way there are other things in the same page see that question number 5 first bit subtract this subtract 2 by 9 from 5 by 9 again repeating the question subtract this 2 by 9 from a rational number called 5 by 9 so whenever from 5 by 9 you should subtract that 5 by 9 I should write first first that only I have written subtracting 2 by 9 from 5 by 9 so that 5 by 9 I have to write first first 5 by 9 minus 2 by 9 this is called we were subtracting the 2 by 9 from 5 by 9 as the question is given for us now we are already denominators are same 9 or 9 is same only if there are different denominators only we will go for the LCM procedure here denominators are same that's why common denominator is taken 9 numerators as it is I have written with the symbols 5 minus 2 that only I have written 5 minus 2 5 minus 2 answer is 3 by this 9 as it is 3 by 9 there is a common table for 3 and 9 that is only third table 3 once 3 cancelled 3 3 is 9 so 1 and 3 left that 1 by 3 has our answer is it clear students now in the same way sixth question first bit same thing subtraction only here also one more sum let us do that subtract to minus 3 by 10 from 1 by 5 so that, that 1 by 5 I have written first first minus because I am subtracting which rational number is going to be subtracted this first one is going to be subtracted so that minus 3 by 10 I have written very next step for this is 1 by 5 as it is minus into minus minus into minus is plus that 3 by 10 as it is here both the denominators are 5 and 10 which are different are different denominators so we have to go to a procedure called LCM lowest common multiple LCM of denominators of 5 and 10 is equal to 10 we want to see 10 as the every denominator that is the LCM procedure now 1 by 5 I have written 5 should multiply into 2 5 2 is only 10 that 10 is our LCM that's why I am have, I have going to multiply this 5 into 2 only because I want to get our LCM so when 2 is required in the denominator the same 2 I have to write in the numerator to not to get any change in the value of the rational number it is already discussed then coming to the plus symbol next again 3 by 10 the question only 3 by 10 10 should multiply with 1 now then 1 is only our LCM 10 is it clear children? then 1, 1 is required here same 1 I have to write in the numerator also afterwards 1 2 is 2 by 5 2 is 10 so that 2 by 10 again plus number 3 1 is 3 by 10 1 is 10 now denominators are same our task will be easy from this step 10 and 10 same so that common denominator we can write that is 10 then what are the numerators we have 2 and 3 in between them plus symbol so that 2 plus 3 I have written the numerator what is the value of the 2 plus 3 that means the addition of 2 and 3 is 5 by 10 5 by 10 we got but 5 and 10 having common factor or common table to cancel them 5 table 5 1 is 5 5 2 is 10 so 1 and 2 left to that is only 1 by 2 finally that remains as our answer is it clear children 1 by 2 simplified form we have identified that is with the subtraction operation let us see in the question 6 only another way of doing is there another little one subtract this minus 8 by 15 from 0 itself 
we know that zero has no value but still they have asked to subtract this first rational number from zero then for that i have to write the zero first first from zero i am subtracting that's why minus symbol is arranged minus then this fully i have arranged in the bracket called minus n by 15 am i correct the writing part is correct only no yes correct the zero as it is dropped minus into minus this bracket is called as into symbol for us minus into minus gives you plus symbol so that plus is written that 8 by 15 as it is written 8 by 15 we all know that the addition of zero and any number gives you the same number suppose zero plus five gives you five only zero plus eight gives you eight only that's why zero plus eight by fifteen gives you that eight by fifteen only no value for zero so let us leave that so eight by fifteen remains as our answer this so subtracting the given rational numbers from zero also given that's why i have taught this one also for you is it clear child children is it clear for you okay then we will go for the question number 7 it is some writing sum verbal sum little uh, knowledge should be gained by writing and the subtraction or the addition what and what are the things needed to be come to know you just apply little more brain to get some idea about it here in question number 7 in the verbal sum they have given sum of two rational numbers sum of two rational numbers given as 11 by 24 then one of the rational number given as 3 by 8 sum of the rational numbers uh, two rational numbers is 11 by 24 one of the rational number is 3 by 8 then find the other rational number is the question for us before we try to do that sum let me say a small example for you suppose sum of the two articles are 10 rupees sum of the two articles which we have purchased in a shop is 10 rupees suppose let us take an example sum of two articles purchased by you is 10 rupees one of the article cost is 4 rupees one of the articles cost is 4 rupees then what can be the cost of the other article which you have purchased in the name of second article am i correct the question is very clear again repeating sum of the two articles given as suppose 10 rupees then one of the article which you have purchased is with four rupees you purchase it what can be the value of other article is it not six rupees children yes six rupees how did we get six rupees as answer for the value of the other article it is just by subtraction yes how did we subtract that from the total of the two articles we have subtracted value of one article that is only 10 minus 4 gives you the 6 in the same way sum of the two rational numbers given as 11 by 24 and one of the rational number given as 3 by 8 whenever they ask us to find the value of the other rational number then what we have to do as we have done in the example subtraction only we have to do am i correct that only sum of the two rational numbers minus one of the rational number as a formula i have written this step for you it is very clear i think so now what is the sum of 11 by 24 sum is given as 11 by 24 minus one of the rational number is 3 by 8 now different denominators so we need to go for a procedure called lcm so lcm of the both the denominators 24 and 8 gives you 24 then we want to see 24 in every denominator 11 by 24 i have written here 24 once only 24 that's why one is written for the multiplication same one i have written in the numerator also for the first bracket again minus symbol and in the second bracket 3 by 8 i have written but 8 three so only our lcm 24 that's why 3 i have written for the multiplication same three i have to write in the numerator also we all know that method then 3 into 3 9 by 24 we will get 
here is 11 marks, 11 by 24, of course, minus symbol in between them. Now, 11 by 24 minus 9 by 24 gives you 24 as a common denominator we have written. Numerators are what? 11 minus 9. 11 minus 9 answer is 11 minus 9 answer 2. So that's why 2 by 24 and also identified a common table that is a 2 table only. We have cancelled that. 2 1 so 2, 2 12 so 24. 2 1 are 2 and 2, 2 12 so are is 24. So 1 by 12 left. That only remains as our answer. That 1 by 12 is called the other rational number. That 1 by 12 is called the other rational number. This is the procedure we have to use to complete it. I hope things are very clear for you. Is it clear children? Okay. We will meet in the next class.